Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Here we are in downtown Los Angeles at Grand Central Market. Mm -hmm. We're staying in town this week because we're planning to travel somewhere next week since we have the week off. We just don't know where we're going yet. So what we're doing is the best of what we LA. know of in L.A. Yeah, a lot. Of, some of these are, are going to be a repeat, but that's because it's going to be our favorite. So for anyone thinking of visiting Los Angeles, these are great ideas to come visit. Or if you're local like us, yeah, you might want to visit some of these places because it is our favorite. Yes, yes. Yeah. So we are in, as you said, in Grand Central Market. Here, there's so much good food here. It's the tacos here. It's a little bit of everything, but we're going to visit here Egg Slut. Yep, it's breakfast time, and it's going to be the perfect breakfast for us. Mm -hmm. ready? Yes, ready. There's one in Vegas, just so you know. Oh, that's right, yeah. And they serve the same thing, but we're going to come to this one. It's going to be good. Okay, let's eat. the slut which is our favorite here this is mashed potatoes with a coddled egg on top yummy crusty bread with a little bit of drizzle of olive oil it is so good we're doing that one and we got the fairfax first time what's the fairfax made? A, a scrambled egg cheese um, a sriracha mayo there's no meat in no this meat one. in this and, one uh, chives even though their bacon looked Amazing, we got this one. Yeah, this is supposed to be the number one egg sandwich seller. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be and good. fresh orange juice, fresh orange juice, and your cup. Yeah, that nice egg right there. Pull this out. That's yummy goodness right there. Here we go. The mashed potatoes are creamy, really, really nice, creamy mashed potatoes. You can really taste it in there. That egg just highlights that those potatoes. It may sound weird, but it is so good. This is really something you have to treat yourself to. It is really, really hot. You can see that there. Egg is done perfectly. Mm. This is what to get. Little bread, or better yet, there you go. There you go. Mm -hmm. This is the Fairfax. First time. I'm really excited about trying this one out. Kind of see it's super fluffy. There's your cheese. Wow. You can see the sriracha mayo on the bottom. Look at that. Here we go. Very good. The bun, nice and soft. The egg is very softly scrambled. Cheese. The mayo is not real spicy at all, but it gives a nice little slight heat to it. Mm. It's very good, man. You don't like this one. Maybe a slice of bacon would, would make it over the top, but as is like this, excellent. Our second stop. Yes. We're still in downtown Los Angeles. Yeah. Well, a little bit out of downtown. Where now it's called Langer Square. Mm -hmm. It's on Seventh and Alvarado, and we're at Langer's. Langer's Deli. Yeah. yeah. The best, huh, baby. We've been dreaming about coming back here to yeah. try the number nineteen number sandwich. Number nineteen. Love it. Mm -hmm. And you know, just just as a reminder, we have been to uh, Cat's Deli in New York we have, City, which is good. Which is good, but this takes the spot, It actually right? does, yeah. yeah. So we are going to go inside, split one of those number 19s, uh -huh. and uh, chow Just down. enjoy it, yes. enjoy it. All right, our this number 19. Right here. They're cool enough to split it for us. Yes. We both got a half a sandwich and a pickle. Yes. Here we go. Go for it. Mm. 
I went to put strawberry heaven. The sandwich. This is packed with me. How the juice is coming out? As good as you remember it, babe. This bread is soft, crusty, crusty edges. Mm. Finger looking, plate looking. There's nothing going to be left for this coming. So good. Now, just feeling it. Just feeling, I could feel the, the crunchiness of this outside of this crust on the bread. And the bread itself in the middle is super soft. See the layer of hand cut pastrami, the Russian dressing, the Swiss cheese, the coleslaw. It's a perfect, perfect ratio sandwich right here. Cheers. Hear that crunch? That's from the crispiness of that bread. The pastrami, coleslaw, perfectly balanced. It's perfect. Wow. Look at that bite. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I don't know what else to say. Perfect. Speechless. Mm -hmm. We had to get an order of fries. Look how much fries they give you. One order. Wow. The, the chili cheese fries actually look really good, but I didn't want to take away from the taste of the pastrami, so we did get a regular fries. This is the first time we're having it. Look at us, they do with it. Yeah. They put pastrami on top of it too. Yeah. This one would have been crazy. Now, if you guys remember the pastrami sandwich shootout we had with, with uh, Langer's versus Cantor's, the difference all came down to the bread. And this is the reason, the main reason, why Langer's took the win is not only the delicious pastrami, but that fresh rye bread. And just having the meat alone, look at that. Perfect pastrami, not too salty at all. Does anybody remember this place? Remember? Consume Burgers. Yep. This was from our LA Burger mm -hmm. shootout. Yes. Yeah. So we consider it one of our best. Mm -hmm. This one is Burgers Never Say Die. It was. Mm -hmm. This was so awesome the first time we had yeah. it. We had just had to come back. Yes. For that flat, crispy patty. Yeah. Right? And it's just cooked perfectly. Yeah. Only one way to get it. There, you just order a burger. That's all you got to do. You don't have to say medium, medium rare, whatever. It just comes one way. It is. So I'm excited to give this place uh, another try because mm -hmm. it made our top list for burgers. Yeah. Ready? Ready, babe. Okay. Hey, here it is. Here is their cheeseburger. Look at that. It's smashed. Edges are crispy. Cheese, onion. Pickle. Well, yeah. Pickles and ketchup and mustard. That's it. Wow. Easy uh, burger. Yeah, we have to go on the, on the back of my car because uh, very limited Easy. seating outside and there's no seating inside. Nah. Yeah. Root beer from Abita. That crispy edge. Wow, look That's at that. That's my bite right there. Yes. Mm. Crunches. Right when you bite into it. Mm -hmm. Nice and juicy, fresh, fresh burger. Really good. One of LA's best right here. One of LA's best. Yeah. If you want to see the whole like uh, version of this, it's on our um, Best Burgers of Los Angeles vlog where we had all the rest. But uh, this one was the winner out of that challenge. How is it, babe? Mm -hmm. I love this root beer too. Oh, sure. Wait, wait. How did you end up with it? Okay, we're continuing our best of. Yes. And here we have our one of my favorite burgers here. Yeah, it's called than, Hawkins. Yep, other than Never See Die, it's this one, huh, baby? Yeah, well, it's a different kind of burger. This is more of a of a massive burger. It's beady, beefy burger. Yeah, in fact, we put this one up against Ho Dad's in yeah, San Diego. We did. And this one this one edges it out. Oh, yeah. For totally. great value yeah. and, and quality. Yeah. Yeah, so here we are at Hawkins House of Burgers. Let's try it out again. Oh, this is the fat 
burger with yeah. cheese, which is their regular size. I have, I'm kind of excited. Yes. Oh, wow. Look at that. So fresh looking. Look at that. This burger smells so good. Not even funny. Alrighty. Again, this is a fat burger. Has a like, yummy cheese in there. Has lettuce, tomato. There's some mayo in there as well. Onions in there. There's, there's mustard right there on the bottom with pickles. Let's try to get the really good size. Here you go. Wow. I barely made it down. Mmm. This, this patty is humongous, but it's perfectly cooked. Wow. Cooked all the way through. Yes. The seasoned just right with all of this fresh veggies in there. It's like how can you go wrong? It's a, such a good burger. Mm. So worth it. Mm. Really good burger. Okay, it's my turn to go in for this monster bite. This has a little red tint because of the uh, or the red canopy up here. But here it goes. I'm going to go in for one big, me messy, big bite. I got the, all of the elements, including, did you notice some tomatoes in here? Mm -hmm. Sliced tomatoes. That burger is really thick. And Probably the equivalent to two patties elsewhere. And tell them the deal, baby. How big, how much is this deal? Including tax, $7.65. What a deal. Oh my gosh. That's how much uh, burgers never say die. It was right around the same price. Crazy. But this is, a, this is a different category of massive, big, fresh burgers. Love it. Great burger here. Hawkins. More than half home. A little more than half home. This burger is awesome next day. I mean, it's awesome now, but if you can't finish it, keep it. And oh, yeah. eat it the next day. It is just as awesome. And the reason why we're not finishing is because we have, we have one, one more. more place to go. Yes. Here we are in Culver City. Yeah. This is the winner of our pastrami shootout. Mm -hmm. Earlier this year, we shot a vlog. Yeah. And it's at Johnny's Pastrami's. Now this is a cash only place, so don't forget to bring your cash. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna go grab some yummy, yummy pastrami sandwich. Thinly cut, nothing like Langer's, which is a thicker cut, yeah, deli that, style. That's a different class. That's, yeah. that's more, like you said, that's more of a deli sandwich. Yeah. This is more of on like a, like a French roll, like a yeah. honey roll, something mm -hmm. like that. Very thinly sliced. Yeah, so. this is very close to the one that they have at the hat. Yes. And that's what we put it up against. Yes. So this is the winner out of those two. Yep. And we're gonna get some Johnny Pastramis. Look at that. They put the dip in our little dish right here. Yes, we get, get that on the side. Yep. They definitely get that on the side there. Look at how packed this puppy is. Uh, yeah, is there a nice enough to split it, it for us? It this is my half right here. Mm -hmm. And we got to order your onion rings. Yep. Here and we a go. couple of beers. Let's try to get this bite in. Messy one. Get oh, that yeah. dip in there. Look at that glisten right there. That's what you're looking for when you eat this pastrami sandwich. Here we go. Mm. Ooh, good bite. Mm. Mm. It's so good. So good. It is. As pastrami is perfectly seasoned, it's cut. Perfectly, as you can tell, very thin cut with that little bit of Swiss cheese in there. That bread is super soft. Perfect for that dip. It's, this is what you have to get when you're here. It's so good. Now keep in mind, this is only half of the sandwich. Massive. So happy we're like splitting it with like everything today. We're going for the dip. Oh. You can see that glisten, baby. That glistening right there. Oh yeah. Of that dip. I'm going in.
great for farming. I know some places they put uh, too much salt or it's kind of simmering in, but not this one. Not too salty at all. Swiss cheese, like you said, the French bread, nice and soft. And that elixir right here, this, this juice that has been simmering in for hours, it just adds to the complement of this sandwich. That, these reasons alone makes Johnny's a winner in the pastrami sandwiches. Wrapping up our foodie adventure day in Los Angeles. So it was really awesome. We started early this morning in downtown LA and ended right here in Culver City. Yeah. We did, have, we did a lot of places, huh, baby? We have. Yep. Uh, we went to Egg Slut. That was awesome. And then we went to yeah, Landers number 19. Uh -huh. And then awesome. Burgers Never Say Die. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Love those crispy edge yeah, burger patties. Definitely. And then we went to Hawkins. Right. right. And then here. We ended up here. Yeah. So, we shared every single meal, otherwise forget it, we couldn't get through the day. Oh yeah, and we even have more than half of the Hawkins burger yeah, we're, gonna, well, we're gonna have tomorrow morning. And we have the leftover onion rings from here, right. so we can finish that with our burger in the morning. Yes. So yes. we invite all you guys to come here to LA and make your own little reviews. Come to visit our the places that we love, or maybe you'll find some other ones. Yeah, well, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And in fact, right next door is Tito's Taco, yeah. and they have amazing beef and bean burritos over yeah, there. Yeah, they're known for their tacos, but their burritos are really good. They are, they are. So we're not going to include them this time, but uh, you know, they we do have a vlog on Tito's. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, so yeah, great day. It's a good day, baby. Good foodie day. <laughs> ready, babe? Yeah, we're ready. Well, thanks for watching our foodie adventure day in Los Angeles. Catch you guys on the next one.